Now for the best part, we're going to plan our Halloween happy hour, starting with just a few really simple appetizers to make. And the first one I'm going to start out with are my uh, date stuffed cockroaches. I know that doesn't sound very good, but it's the coolest thing. So what you're going to do is to just take a date that's been pitted, and then the first thing you're going to do is just put an almond inside of it. And then inside of that, what we're gonna do is take a little cream cheese mixed with blue cheese. I think that's an awesome combination. When you put that together with the saltiness of the nut and the sweetness of the date, it's just delicious. And look at that, it's so easy. All right, so that's what we're gonna eat. However, we're gonna take these and I bought some plastic cockroaches and you could just set these on the plate, but I think it's kind of fun to take them and to just set them right on top of this plastic cockroach. They're like the same color and they look just like cockroaches and they're just so cool looking. Check this out. Isn't that fun? Now, that um, you might want to tell your guests to make sure they don't eat the plastic part of the cockroach, but how fun is that? Okay, another thing that we're going to make, which is also very simple, is... Uh, I always have olives around the house, so I thought I would play around with some olives, and I took this jar of olives, and I took the label off it, and I took the green olive that I had, and a black edible marker, and what I'm going to do is I am just making a couple of eyes, some nostrils, and so there's my alien head and we're just going to plop it into the brine and when it's in there it makes it turn actually red. I think it'd be kind of fun to have those really bright green olives and to do this with the black edible marker and then I think there'd be more of a brown color. But these are still really fun and they look neat just in the jar. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a cheese ball that looks like a pumpkin. Now, this is just so much fun to have and really fun to take to a party, too. So, first of all, you're going to buy some <clears throat> cheese ball. That This is a, ch a sharp cheddar cheese ball um, with a brand that um, I had to really shop around to find. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but anyway. So take the cheese and then what you're gonna do is take it out of the wrapper and then we're gonna remove all of the almonds from this cheese ball. So let me do that and then we'll continue. So I've scraped all of the almonds off my cheese ball. I didn't throw them away because I love eating almonds. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cheese ball and I'm gonna put it in this bowl of black sesame seeds. Now, you don't have to use black sesame seeds. You could use like flax seeds, something like that. And so just cover the whole pumpkin with these seeds. Oh, this looks so nice. And just make sure we've got them well scattered on here. And then, carefully set that on a little pedestal is what I'm using, but you could use something decorative that's Halloween or just a little plate, but I love these pedestal, little pedestal things. I love little dishes and fun things to use at holiday time. So once you have this on there, next thing you're gonna do is I took a green pepper and I cut the stem off the top of that. So I'm just going to set the stem right onto my little cheese ball. So it looks just like a pumpkin. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is to put together our Vampire Kiss Martini. Now this is a really fun Halloween date night cocktail, starting with Crystal Skull Vodka, which is a vodka that's made by Dan Aykroyd, who interestingly enough was in the original Ghostbusters. So that is the base for this. And then we're going to add to that some 
grapefruit juice, and this is a ruby red grapefruit juice, and I do admit I added just a teeny tiny bit of red food coloring just to make it a little more vibrant. So we add that to our martini glass, which has been sugar rimmed in black sugar. Now, after we pour this in, what I like to do is add some of my own love potion which is a homemade raspberry liqueur that I made last summer. And this is actually a recipe that you'll find in my Frugal Fun Friday. I have recipes for cordials. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of this raspberry cordial to it. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. That might make it even an extra red. And that is my Vampire Kiss Martini. Now, if you don't want to have lips that are about to turn black when you drink your martini, you can do what I do. I always give my guest one of these and then I always take like a straw and I have a little, ooh, a little mouse on my straw. He fits real nicely right in my martini glass and I'm going to sip from my martini but it's fun to look at your guests with their black lips. They look like they've really been kissed by a vampire. So putting together our Halloween happy hour, again, we have our green olive alien heads followed by our orange and cheddar cheese ball, which is served with carrots and orange peppers. I love also serving sweet potato and beet chips. And these other chips are from Trader Joe's in the shape of ghosts and bats. And then, of course, we have our cockroaches, which were stuffed with almonds and blue cheese and cream cheese, which actually tastes num yummy, even though they look kind of gross. And then finally, we have our vampire kiss martinis. So I hope I've inspired you to plan your own Halloween date night. And if I have, please come visit me, the queen of theme at makinggreatmemories.com or on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook. I would love to hear from you. Happy Halloween.